Hey guys, this is Dungeon Master 201, and I'm about to take on the Viridian Gem. And this has, again, three people in front of him. One of them is a rocket, which is in the right place. And for this first one, I would definitely bring along a fighting type because of the many normals and electric, and um, I would say a flying type or a fire type. Kangas Khan. And like with all the rockets, they cheat, they lie, they laugh, they joke, because all of his Pokemon has a number in it, which in Generation 1 is not possible. And I'm paralyzed. I am fucking paralyzed. That's one down. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. I might lose my Mewtwo in this fight. Oh, it's Virgin. I'm definitely gonna lose my Mewtwo in this fight. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Level two. But hope that I can take Persian out with me. It'll knock me out. Unless this thing misses, it'll knock me out. Good job, you two. Good job. The remaining Pokemon stop is two to one. The combatants are making sparks fly. It's bad makeup. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Whoa! That one hurt. God, it's a one hit wonder. One down. Next up is a lab man, which is appropriate seeing as though Giovanni is the head of a criminal organization and he created Mewtwo. So for this one, you want to pretty much want to bring along a good. If you have Zapdos, I would suggest bringing him along. Um, I would also bring a ground type just in case, because that Magneton could be hell. So first up is Lickitung. Here. And I'm gonna go with a good old stat increase. Hopefully I'll be able to knock this thing out in one go. Because uh, it's a uh, double team can be a hazard to me. It's a one hit wonder. Which Pokemon is coming out? Furo. That one's not too difficult. I've already had an increased uh, stat or special stat, so I can just push this thing aside. Why? I 
And this is where the other, or an electric type will come in handy. And that is battle number two. And now it's time for the uh, male cool trainer. And this can be difficult. This can actually ruin your day. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my golem for this one. And an electric flying type, which will be quite useful in this battle. Here's the first trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle can we expect to see? As always, I'm going with the good old amnesia attack. It's popped up in special rating. I love how you becoming forgetful increases your stats. Get out of here, Tentacool. God, it's a one-hit wonder. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Ah, oh, shit. How will the type difference affect? I'm going with Ice Beam. I hate Clefable. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become This thing has survived every hit I have thrown at it by every other trainer. Battle number three. Well, this is it. This is it. The final gym leader. Boss Rocket. And this can be, this can actually be a bit tricky, as he doesn't, as with the exception of uh, uh, the Nittos, all of them, and Nittos and the, uh, the normal types, this one could actually be a little tricky. Um... A fighting psychic and I would say a water type would probably help you out here. It's Giovanni, not Giovanni, you jackass. Persian is going to be a little bit of a problem. Persian's probably going to use Slash. It's going to critical on me. But now it's my turn to use Psychic and hopefully knock this thing out of the uh, battle. Two more. Who is it going to be? Nitto King. You must have Nitto King and Nitto Queen in this party. Otherwise, he would not have uh, sent the Nitto King out like he did. There 
especially against the psychic type. The difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Am I right? Oh, it's Taurus. I guess I'm wrong. The remaining Pokemon this isn't the first time I'm wrong, so. The battle has become one sided. What now? The bear hit. Why? Take it down in one hit. And that is. The eight gym leaders for round two. Yet none of them have been able to stop my uh, perfect streak so far. And the Viridian gym battle has been cleared. And if you notice, before I completed. Uh, the Viridian Gym, the music was different. As soon as you beat the Viridian Gym, the music changes in Gym Leader Castle to the uh, Elite Fours music. Even if you go back, it'll be the Elite Fours music as soon as you beat the uh, eight gems. So, uh, uh, so that mentioned, my next video, I'm going to start taking on the Elite Four of Round Two.